welcome back to another video my name is Akita if you are new to this channel I am a lifestyle influencer content creator as well as an HR professional during the day and today's video will be really just a time to sit down and talk with you guys about my transition back into the office and any tips that I have that hopefully can help you as a lot of our organizations are opening back up and want us to return back into the office whether it's on a transitional hybrid basis or whether it's full time which in my case full time five days a week back into the office so let's get right into it all right so for those of you who followed me on instagram or even watched my last vlog which was um my first day back into the office and if you haven't seen it i'll leave it down below for you guys to catch up in the description box but i talked through even the day prior so i even went through processing it by making different funny uh, reels and tiktoks just to transition through my thought process because it wasn't an easy one i literally worked from home from March of 2020 to what month is this July <laughs> so from March to June um, yeah we're back in June so from yeah so it wasn't easy I literally went from working in my home full-time from March 2020 to June of 2021 so over a year where my routines changed my schedule changed um just my sleep pattern changed my eating changed my level of activity changed how i dressed every day changed um, my interactions with my friends and colleagues changed so really life changed for me and i was not prepared I, I i could not process i could not grasp i didn't even it's like that old world didn't exist anymore and in my head a new world <laughs> existed because that's what i was actively living so one of the best things that I can start off with is giving you a tip is transition your schedule. And what I mean by that is transitioning what your home life needs to be reallocated or you're delegated to others. I had even gotten to the point to where I had a cleaner come to my house, which was very convenient because during the day while I worked, the cleaner was here and cleaning up the home. Now that I'm out of the home, I did have to set a schedule to where they can come when I'm either here on the weekend or opt to give them a key and allow them to come in when I'm not home. So again, that's what I mean by adjusting your schedule or preparing your schedule. Even also as far as my sleep schedule, I went to bed whenever uh, because my commute was very short. My commute was literally 16 stairs to the bottom and that's when I got to my office so I did have to also set boundaries around my sleep schedule and that is to get in the bed by 11 o'clock and go to bed because I have to get up in the morning prepare for a commute so prepare your schedule another thing that I um, began doing is setting a schedule on how I was going to even clean my home or prepare my meals or even just getting Chloe acclimated which is my dog for those of you guys don't know because during the daytime I would take her to school and the commute from here to our school to her school is about 18 minutes give or take so with that being said it's now in the opposite direction of my job and so I had to think back what did I do prior to us being at home uh, to get her back for the school so I had to remember to get up what was the traffic schedule like so I would definitely suggest just kind of seeing what things have changed the things that you have adjusted to and seeing which one of those items you can delegate whether it's having a spouse take your dog to daycare or whether you getting up a little bit earlier and taking your dog or having a service come and pick up your dog um, or child um, just really sorting those things out and also I would say do a dry run see what that looks like for you um, a week or two weeks however um, in advance so that way it's not such a shock when you have to do it and now you're running around you're getting dressed you're kind of sleepy you're putting clothes on you're drinking coffee you're you're commuting you're you know Know, just trying to remember how to get into the swing of moving that fast that early in the morning when it was before you didn't have to 
Another tip that I would say is set boundaries as you begin to transition back into the office because one thing that I'm very happy that I did now and even struggled with working from home is learning how to separate the two. Everything was kind of blending together or my work day just seemed to extend beyond five o'clock. Now typically, you know, my work day, it can go over. I'm a salaried employee, so I don't have a hard start and I don't have a hard stop, but the stops were getting longer and longer and longer where I wouldn't stop or I'd take breaks and be like, okay, I'll just come back, you know, and finish this up at seven o'clock, eight o'clock, you know, nine o'clock at night. Whereas now I've transitioned um, my managers and my peers to know that, hey, it's five o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and log off for the night. Have a good evening. If you need anything, I'll see you in the morning. So really trying to reintroduce my hiring managers and my peers, my colleagues to know that at five o'clock, matter of fact, I'm not even bringing my laptop home. I'm gonna leave my laptop here. I'll have my work phone on me if you if there's an emergency, but I won't be working anymore. There will not be a six, seven, eight, nine o'clock where you'll be able to reach me because I'm cutting off and separating my work and my home life. And I didn't realize how much of it had blended together because I had, again, just gotten accustomed to that routine. And some of that came from wanting to even prove that I could successfully work from home. And I think a lot of us had that when we were um, first coming back to, to the office, people were getting laid off from their jobs and, and, and it was just a very struggle time to make sure that you held your stake into the ground and that you were a member of your team and you were committed to the transition and the, the turbulent time that we went through. But now that, like I said, things are looking up on the positive side for most organizations, um, um, it's that that fear is no longer there necessarily but again just understanding that I'm not a robot I can't function that way and it's okay to set boundaries to say you know hey I'm gonna go ahead and end the night here you guys have a great one if you need me I'll be back online tomorrow around nine o'clock and setting that boundaries prior to really really did help acclimate um, team members to know that I really am unplugging and I won't be available so I was highly suggest just kind of working on transitioning that hard stop time and if you do end up working later then make that your choice or make it you know because you have to um, you know as business needs but again just really work on transitioning in that tone Another thing that I did that was very helpful is I created my comfort. So I brought in items from home that emulated comfort for me, um, whether it was a favorite food. Um, some of you guys saw in that vlog that I did um, go to Target the day before and, and get some of my favorite snacks. I got my Welch's snack, I got my crackers, I got applesauce, I got my favorite uh, Red Bull energy drink. I got, you know, a really a lot of some of my favorite items um, that I needed and um, my cleaning supplies. So that way, again, I hadn't been in my office in a year. So it was, it was already cleaned for me, which was great, but I still wanted to make sure that I I cleaned it and that I was dusting it and that I you know made sure that the space felt good I brought my favorite um, room space room spray which is um, clarity by Casa Luna I sprayed that throughout my office because that's what my house smells like and you know when I was cleaning up my home office space I would spray that that sense so it gave me some sense of familiarity I also am cold natured so one thing I did as well was just bring like a, a tiny blanket so that I could just kind of drape over my legs if I got chilly um you know I brought my favorite pins I brought you know my chargers and I have and I brought spares of those things that I could keep at the office I wasn't constantly every day trying to lug different things to bring into the office so I do have a spare charger there I do have my favorite pins there I do have my cleaning supplies there I do have my snacks there so everything is there to create a comfort space I have um, my airpods you know so I just want to make sure that I felt as comfortable as I could as I began to transition because day one you don't just jump back in and you're like I'm so happy to be here now some people were very happy to be there on the first day I, I and I 
I know that everybody's situation is different. For example, I had a coworker who literally could not wait to get back into the office. He felt like working from home was almost torture because he had two young babies under the age of two and he had to constantly close his door so that he could work. And so that was difficult because the baby's like, daddy, daddy, I wanna play with you. And he would have to close the door in their face or he couldn't really have time with them or he couldn't really help his wife because he had to be attentive to meetings and work and focus during that time. And that was hard to tell a two year old, I, you know, daddy can't play with you right now. So he really, really was happy to be back at the office to have that sense of, I can separate and not feel that guilt of being uh, not being available for my family so and i empathize with that i empathize with him um and so it looks different for everybody another tip that i have for you guys is go ahead and put on a new outfit i mean why not maybe for some of you your outfits don't fit a couple of my items don't quite fit like they used to and that is okay as well but go ahead and put on a new outfit take those tags off and just show up now you don't have to go and buy a new wardrobe but just one outfit just to give you that sense of i'm i'm doing something new i have on a new outfit i'm putting on a positive out outcome I'm, I'm putting on a positive face to, to hopefully emulate a positive outcome to the day. So I did have a new outfit on. I bought purchased the outfit actually before um, we were sent home. But again, I had worn it. Thankfully it fit, but I did feel good actually getting out of my onesie or not putting on sweats and putting on clothes to look my best that day. So, and even when I got there, I was like, oh my gosh, I love your skirt. Let me see your skirt. Oh, your shirt's so pretty, you know, and just realizing I can, yeah, I can get dressed again. I, I do know how to do this. <laughs> So I would highly suggest go ahead and get a new outfit, a new shirt, a new purse, just so you can, you know, just recommence the newness of this transition. Another tip that I have for you guys is I touched on it briefly before is to reestablish your sleep schedule. And the reason why I'm harping on this particular one is because rest is so very important. It's very important to your mental, it's very important to your overall health. It's very important for you to even be productive during the day without having the option to sit on the couch or to take a walk or to go on a target run. You know, those things will now be limited to you. So, you know, being your best attentive self um, comes with getting the proper rest. Again, I shared that I have a hard bedtime of 11 o'clock Monday through Friday and I get in the bed before 11 o'clock. Um, and then I wake up six, seven o'clock and that's, that's my time. I don't, um, you know, try to extend one or the other. Uh, I did try that once to edit a video and I was very tired and I said, I'm going back to my schedule. Um, because again, you're going to be up. You don't want to get to your job and, and not perform as you need to because of lack of sleep. So again, I do want to stress, start to reestablish your sleep schedule so that you can be your best self to sit up in a chair or if you have the option to do a sit stand desk you know that you're just not putting yourself even at danger by not getting the, the proper rest and lastly one of the things that i want to share is to be open about how you feel it is perfectly okay to not be comfortable going back into the office and if your job is allowing you to um you know submit certain accommodations whether um it's for you to have a sit stand option desk or whether it's for you to have um you know certain back support or whatever the case may be or maybe you know you've now um brought in a family member that you're taking care of and so your life may look a little bit differently you know don't feel that you cannot go to human resources or hr and talk to them or talk to your manager about um your discomfort or your your position on wanting to still social distance a bit and you can say that you can actually you know say i, ha I did have someone week three of being back in the office actually touched me and that was foreign to me <laughs> that was definitely very foreign because we're still um you know trying to be as safe as possible and having a stranger touch me was very uncomfortable so you know i think it's very important to say you know hey 
Um, I'm still social distancing right now, but I'm very happy to see you, you know, um, or if someone reaches out to touch your hand or want to hug you, you know, you can absolutely do the hand gestures or change your body posture so that it's, it's not rude, but you're really saying I'm not comfortable at the time. Some people I've seen even do like an elbow, you know, thing just so we can like touch a little bit, but not really air hug it, whatever the case may be, but you are able to say, hey, I'm still social distancing right now, but again, it's great to see you, um, you know, in the office, I do still wear my mask, um, you know, when I'm outside of my, um, the corners of my office, but again, um, I don't want you guys to feel like you have to go in there and just put on your best face. But I do want to say, you know, try to be as positive about it when you get there. Because if you do get back into the office and you're experiencing high anxiety, your your work is suffering, you are... Um, you know, you feel that the transition is very difficult for you. Um, you may be experiencing some, some PTSD from it. This was a traumatic year for us. This was nothing to sneeze at. It really, really happened to all of us and it looked different for, for a lot of us. So, you know, no one's negating that. And so I think that again, if you do need additional support, um, you know, don't forget to go to your human resource department. You don't have to suffer through it, um, the transition, but you know, I definitely just say, just, just go on in, try it and see how you feel because I thought I was going to hate it. I thought this was going to be the worst thing ever and it wasn't <laughs> because again, my house is actually cleaner now that I actually get out of it. <laughs> I'm not making a mess here and I'm making a mess there. Everything is where it is when I left it because I'm just not in it, in it all day. Um, now, one thing that I want to start doing is getting a little bit active. So I have started bringing a pair of, um, even just a pair of sneakers so I can walk by the water. Um, you know, just really taking the time to, not necessarily get back to normal, but just try to do things that's gonna help me feel as if I'm as, as normal as I can. Um, because when I need a break, put on my shoes, go for a walk. I go visit my friend um, in her office. I, I don't I don't go all over the place, but again, um, and then even to as far as food, I forgot about the luxury that my food was right, was five feet away from me. My fridge, my stove, my microwave, all of that was right there, you know, in the comfort of where I needed it to be in a matter of five feet. So I did have to learn how to really adjust to, you know, what does my eating look like? How do I get that? Am I spending more money or can I prepare some of that and take it with me? Um, so, you know, think about those small things, even with the um, amount of time I spent on my phone or taking phone calls because I had the luxury of no one listening to my calls. If a friend called me and wanted to chat or if I want to just reach out to my sister or my mom and talk to them for a couple of minutes and now it's kind of, you know, I don't want to spend my office time talking loudly to my family while I'm working, which I can do very successfully. But again, um, you know, so I did have kind of tell my friends and family I'm going to be trans transitioning back into the office. If I can't talk, you know, the moment you call me, I'll call you back on my break or I'll call you back after work. Um, because it was hard for me to get back into not talking throughout the day and working at the same time. So, you know, start talking to your friends and family and transition the idea. If you can transition a day or two early or a week or two early, I would suggest doing that so you can have time to really set things up clean things, wipe things as you need to, put your items where you want it to put, see if you're lacking something um, so that you can bring that so that way when you start on the first day, it's not just a big rush of wave of emotions, but you have as much thing, as many things in place as possible to, to make your day as comfortable as you go into, um, whether it's full time or two days or three days, back into the office. So again, I will leave some of my items that I, I can't live without uh, to get through the workday, whether it's in the office or uh, working from home. I'll leave that. I did a video on that, but again, um, I will make sure I do that. And if you're also interested in this dress, I did purchase this from Target. I will leave this down below as well for you. And if you have any other questions or even any other tips that you can help somebody else with transitioning back into the office, leave it down below. I wish you 
If you have any other tips that um, you want to share that helps you transition to the office, leave it down below so that it can help somebody else. Because again, I know we all have different feelings about it, but we are going to get through this together and hopefully we do this very safely. See you in the next video. Don't forget as well, like this video. If something resonated with you, share it with a friend who's going to be transitioning back into the office soon. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.